away with our first match, that being Dark and Matt Bro, Hero versus Ganon. What do you think? Hero versus Ganon, uh, gonna be a tough one for Ganon to make his way inside. Of course, Matt Bro uh, definitely uh, likes to hold that forward uh, directional input the entire time. So he's gonna be putting on the aggression this entire time. But uh, going to town, gonna be um, definitely a little bit interesting here. Hero can definitely use that large amount of space towards his advantage for sure. Yeah, he'll be flying around, especially with this accelerado uh, that he put up early. Trying to outspace and outmaneuver Ganon is not really all that hard of a task for many fast characters. And here, if, I mean, if he keeps getting this menu luck, it won't be a problem at all. But Mapro has worked his, himself around many bad matchups before and probably many bad matchups since. So it's all a matter of time to get that one hit for this massive warlock. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I really got to give it to Matt, bro. Playing such a, you know, considered low tier character, right? Like familiarizing yourself uh, against these matchups and being able to work through it, I think is just incredible. I personally, I love uh, these Ganon players coming out and just showing what they're made of right here. And I love the uh, faint jump right there into the fair. He's going to get some big mileage off that through the entire match. Yeah, just look at him how like confidently approaching with shield, kind of realizing that, hey, Hero can't really do much uh, if I come forward with shield. A lot of his buttons are beaten by that, but the whoosh on the side will absolutely cover uh, Ganon's rather linear recovery. Oh, and the crit, too! <laughs> the jab block into the crit forward smash. Holy goodness, Dark already <laughs> running this. Mag bro going to try to answer back with a little bit of a fair, but wow, oh wow, what a play right there already. He was rewarded, immediately rewarded for just good awareness. And if he keeps up how like astutely he is playing around this stage, like playing around Ganon has a, there's plenty of holes that you can exploit and plenty of weaknesses you can cover. And with the stock lead, Hero can play to that range and play to the power of the menu. You never know what you're gonna see. And that is just a blessing and a curse. Yeah, that's RNG right there. And Dark doing exactly what he needs to do right here, using some of those zoning tools uh, to his advantage, especially side B. And that big sword is certainly going to make it difficult for Ganon to get inside. I uh, see Mabro definitely going to have a struggle off stage versus that Woosh as well. Uh, so we'll see what Dark's got for him uh, for the approach and how Mabro is going to make the adjustments to make his way back onto the stage. Yeah, he's been pretty dominant at the ledge thus far, though throwing out some options a little bit too early, like that, uh, that flame choke, but like hero is just he's just so crazy on this on the clap back because of things like his massive spells because of things like oomph and psych up just potentially being on deck as that f tilt will power through back hit in there gotta respect that shield and f tilt 2 will seal that game one for dark I just, just think Dark had classic. so much momentum that entire time there wasn't much that Mabro could really get going right there I mean, uh, great answer back right here. Mabro just trying to wait it out, um, but Dark just a little bit too quick. You saw that constant nair right there on the ledge, trying to cover that neutral get up. Uh, Dark just smartly rolling right on through that. Yeah, just power right through. Even if he had done throw, uh, even if he had landed in time and pushed a button uh, on the roll, uh, Hero Shield would have beaten that out, and the punish was effectively guaranteed for someone being trying to be. A little bit more proactive on ledge as Matt Bro was. Since he was down, I mean, you gotta you gotta do things what you gotta do them. But second game, we'll see what we got. Uh, probably a counter pick. You don't want to give here that much room. But Town City's not really too terrible. The stage didn't do him anything bad. As yeah, we do see him go back. It's that run back, you know, like he definitely uh, got played out a little bit right there. So uh, for me personally, I would definitely want to set the pace of that match and run it back immediately on there. And I definitely respect that from Matt Bro here. Yeah, definitely uh, starting out really strong. Uh, trying to just walking forward. And you got to respect the Ganon walk. You can pull out shield, can burst his way through with things like the uh, the wizard's foot and the flame choke. So Ganon you know, is a lot of really good first options surprisingly so yeah it's like he can he can get places when he needs to they're just all forward <laughs> yeah it's, exactly yeah, holding that forward stick is uh gonna be the play right here uh smartly gonna save his jump but dark all over with the fair and gonna go ahead and uh, close out that stock right here really he's actually just using those far sides of the stages to his advantage and he's really drawing matt bro in and making most of the plays off stage and that's exactly how you deal with the ganon yeah, just when you see that Ganon use his jump, it's time to swing. And the amount of times we'll see Dark cover his approach back to ledge, 
uh, with a menu spell or with one of the frizz uh, lines. All in all, really solid ways to get back, but your roll on will be caught by Ganon up smash uh, without a doubt. And what oh, no, I wanted to point off. out here too that uh, Dark was doing really well is um, off of those flame chokes almost every time he's mixed up his direction. So Mabro having a hard time getting a punish off that. It's those little things like that that make a big difference. But he is going to get the flame choke into down air, into up air, and uh, already got him here at 69% for all his troubles. Yeah, it's it's the Ganon classic. Like you're going to take a, it's not even the heavy classic. You're going to take a beating. You're going to take your licks. But when push comes to shove, all you need is that one or two openings to get the damage and get those kills. Falling backer, didn't ex guess he didn't expect to jump on uh, the, the jump from ledge. And will he do it again? Yes, he will. Just confident. Confident is this Ganon from Matt, bro. He knows how to play around uh, Dark's initial adaptations. Yeah, and that aggression, he's actually getting rewarded for it pretty heavily. Dark uh, going to take a step back here, got the buff ready to go, um, and he's going to continue to press uh, forward on that uh, stick there. Uh, trying to look for snooze right here, but just going to go ahead and reset menu. And Matt Bro going to try to work his way. Jumps again from ledge and getting away from this, man. Uh, I don't know how he's, how Dark's not getting the punishes quite yet on it. And maybe it's just sheer fear factor, like, especially when with some of hero's buffs they do work both ways uh oomph does steal self damage so he's got the tech chase only only for one though didn't expect the second roll on or the second roll away and yeah, that jump was... will get caught uh, dark's got a chance here what do you think yeah i mean nice catch right there on the jump um it does seem like Mabro really abusing that nair i'm uh, trying to get the approach on him but we have the accelerate and another buff here gonna chase it out looks for the nair follow-up i uh, tried to hop over uh chrisizzle there but still not able to get anything and dark trying to slow the game down a little bit and build that damage uh so he can catch up this deficit yeah it's he's using a lot more jabs trying to stay grounded the up smash catches yet another jump yeah hero's back air just so slow is that it, it really it? reminds me of Ganon just nairing right there on ledge, almost like cloud back air. It, it's hard to get through, especially if he changes up timing. Uh, looking for that back air, trying to shield poke through, uh, but not able to get it. Great patience here, stepping back with the fair and runs up with the nair. Uh, gonna get that one. Yeah, I mean, it was really between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> so many, so many big swings coming in on dark shield at the end. Like that shield is small. If this nair wasn't. Uh, shield poking i would be i would have been so surprised and i don't think he even pulled up now he was caught in initial dash uh, that will do it but it's you're caught in the corner you can't get you can't quite reach platform you're trying to figure out a way around this pressure but mapro had been uh, even in through game one his pressure on ledge was really good he would just pick a, uh, an option like flame choke a little too early that time withholding uh, withholding some of his options it's waiting a tempo and he gets rewarded. Ooh, game almost three already. Time. Yeah, almost every single time. One thing that I love that he did was he would mix up his uh, fastball timing. He would either do full hop or short hop near. Um, and that just shows signs of a great gain and a great talent right here. Uh, two awesome players going to game three here on Kalos. Uh, kind of an interesting pick, but uh, hopefully those platforms are going to help Ganon build some extra combos there with that up air. Yeah, it's interesting to see Dark uh, counterpick to Kalos because, I mean, it's Ganon. Ganon rarely has a time killing, but maybe with a wider center stage, a lack of center platform in any case, you get a little bit more airspeed to move, especially with Accelerado on deck. And, you know, added, added uh, recovery mix-ups, always helpful for <laughs> any character, basically. So, hey, you know, I respect it. Absolutely. Uh, Dark, a little bit antsy with some of the punches here. Uh, pop that... Um up smash through the ledge there and map bro just a little bit hesitant on that get up attack so or i'm sorry a neutral get up so very smart stuff i'm uh, gonna get the sour spot of nair and uh, trying to control him off stage here dark gonna roll through and a big flame choke goes for the second tech uh dark gonna get the back throw for a little bit of stage advantage into the whoosh and time comes but he's out of mana like he has enough to recover but that's about it and with the way dark has been playing yeah getting that grab is huge because just having any amount makes things like frizz on deck and, um, and on ledge constantly on ledge he's been getting caught for his rolls caught for his neutral guts that time caught for a get up attack he needs a, he needs some big plays and some big swings but that was not oh. what i meant for dark but a swing nonetheless matt oh, no. says this is my home
The classic oh. Ganon play with the Doria through the ledge. Oh my goodness. And he just rolled right into that. Great read there from Mabro. Uh, just assessing the situation there. Uh, Dark does have that tendency to roll inside. Uh, so very smart read right there. I mean, wow. And uh, this is Hero. This is Hero certainly with a uh, oomph. He had another roll on. I mean, you called it. He's been throwing that option quite, uh, quite frequently to get back to center. And when he's been in center, he's felt good. But Matt... Uh, Matt Pro really has found a way to to rush Dark down, make him feel uncomfortable, make him feel scared of the the Ganon pressure, and these rolls are not doing him any favors. No jump. Yeah, and Dark uh, actually had a deficit here on percentage, just going for that big up smash. Very smart spot dodge. That's definitely the best way to deal with that up smash. You don't want to get hit that on shield. Uh, Eminem shield is not something you want to deal with, but big kudos to Dark here. Definitely hanging on to the game very tight. It got Matt Pro off stage to 102. Yeah, he's he's still hanging tough, and there's definitely plenty of ways for for here to bring this back. A psych up will not quite do it. Ganon, plenty heavy. Right, he's got enough. Yeah, uh, level one whoosh only costs like five, so he'll have enough to recover, but not gonna recover from that up smash <laughs> no, right there. Sir. Man, Mabro just running it against him right there. I mean, huge, huge play uh, with that roll inside off the Doria. That's what it's all about. And capitalizing on those kills is such a big deal for him. I mean, look how he slows us. I mean, just so smart edge guarding, throwing out the fair, trying to